Dirty D interview for you fans. I got 10 questions that I'm going to answer. And you guys all asked me, so I'm going to answer as truthful as I can. So, as possible. <laughs> Alright, 10 questions. Go. Here we go. What does the D in Dirty D stand for and how did you get your name? The D in Dirty D stands for Daniel. And I got my name Dirty, the dirty part, because I have a dirty mind. I have a filthy, dirty mind. And a lot of people can't take it or understand it, but that's just the way I am. So... I know, I got it when I was in junior high from uh, my cousin Simez. He's part of the Dark Side of the Goon, Goondocks, another Seattle band. Check him out. Um, and, uh, yeah, so they, they, uh, they call, I was stuck with me, Dirty D, you know. Number two. Ready? Yeah. What's your favorite thing about the music business? My favorite thing about the music business is probably entertaining people that's I get my kicks off of doing that and and making people feel happy or pissed or whatever the case may be I like making people feel that and and intensifying it number three number three how did God create such a wonderful guy like you <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's uh, I got uh, I don't know I guess I'll have to ask him when I see him. Thank you. <laughs> What's your favorite love song and why? My, my favorite love song. Definitely I'm in Love by Dirty D. Um, you guys haven't heard the whole thing yet. I, ca I, ca I keep it locked away in a safe in, a, in my Dirty D vault. Uh, you've seen, you've heard it like a snippet of it, but... Uh, if I were to choose a different song from somebody else, it'd probably be Send Me an Angel from the 80s. Or, you know, I like those ballad songs. And if you think it's gay, fuck you. I like them. And I'm not gay. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, you said before that you thought your age was an issue and you were thinking about quitting. Yeah. Is that true? I thought it was an issue, yeah. I mean, I'm 26, going on 27. I, um... I don't know, this music business is a tough business, I I thought, I don't know, it's like, sometimes I feel like maybe I should just quit, but I can't quit because it's in my blood, so no matter what, I'm never going to quit until the day I die, when I stop breathing then I'll quit, uh, so you can still count on more dirty music for sure, even though I'm looking for a new studio, but uh, other than that, no. Although sometimes I feel like quitting because I don't get the support and love that I feel like I should. And uh, I've had a lot of trials and tribulations with setbacks and, and things of that nature. A lot, a lot of you people that have followed me know what I'm talking about. Uh, I have my MySpace community that had 50,000 people on it. And uh, I wrote this controversial song about this dude in a punk rock group who stabbed my friend to death. and. Uh, I was just venting how I felt. It's kind of like my pop hit him up, but the song's called Pain. And uh, MySpace decided to censor me. It's fine. Cool, MySpace gay. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I, uh, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. MySpace, I'm gonna do me, you do you. We'll, we'll all get along. Next. <laughs> do you have a girlfriend? Do I have a girlfriend as my zipper falls down? These fucking pants. <laughs> uh, I hate these jeans. Uh, <laughs> do I have a girlfriend? No. I, uh, I've been looking. I have girl friends. I'm still kind of in limbo at the moment. Okay, next. How many people have you had sex with? <laughs> you had to say that one loud, right? Of course. Uh, Everybody I, wants to know. <laughs> I've had sex with ten. Ten. I said ten. ten. Fucking ten. A fucking ten. 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 Perfect ten. Right? A perfect ten. All right. Yeah. Next. You ready? Yeah. Okay. In your eyes, what's the idea of the perfect girl? My idea 
<coughs> of the perfect girl. Well, I wrote the song called Dream Girl. It's kind of about that, but it's kind of more of a fable. It's more, you know, a story. What I, if I were to draw a cartoon character, what would she be like? That would be her. But that's kind of, you know, if I was gonna be realistic about it, it's more of basically a girl that's a down ass chick for me. It's through there, through thick and thin, through, through all the trials and tribulations, who's there and who's who's there for me? Not me as Dirty D, but more me as Daniel. And uh, you know, you get a lot of fakes and imposters and stuff, but you gotta learn to weed through. It's kind of like that show, Brett Michaels. Uh, what's that show called? Rock of Love. It's kind of like you know, it's been like that for me in real life and stuff. So VH1, if you need another guy, uh, I'm the second Rock of Love. I'm your dude, Dirty D, all the way. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay. Where do you get your All money? Huh? Where? Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, what? Where do you get your money to record all your songs? Where do I get my money? Well, I'm a working man, as you can tell, like the rest of you guys. Uh, I work around tires all day. Uh, I get down and dirty. Dirty. Do you get it? Uh, no, I... Uh, I also, you know, I, I've had tough times where I can't afford it, and uh, my grandma, my, my grandma who believes in me has supported me when I need it, and that's the only woman in my life that has ever been there through thick and thin. Um, and if it weren't for her, there wouldn't be Dirty D. So, thank you, grandma. <laughs> Ten, but this has eleven. Okay, bonus. Bonus. Bonus question. <laughs> <Okay>. Bonus question. <laughs> bonus. It's a bonus. You guys only get it this this time. The next ten questions is ten. Maybe. Uh, what did you want to be when you grew up? What did I want to be? Uh, I wanted to be. I, I don't know. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to be. I was kind of confused, but I knew one thing. I knew that I wanted to do something that would touch the masses, something that would, that I could, I could, you know, I could do something. I knew I wanted to do something big. <laughs> I didn't know if it was gonna be sports, rock, hip hop, music, whatever. I didn't, I didn't know what it would be, but I knew that I wanted to entertain and touch people on a, on a grander scale, you know what I mean? On a grander scale. Anyways, uh, Dirty D, 10 questions, you got 11 bonus this time, uh, but yeah, basically, oh, do we have another one? Well, it's part of, part of, it's like a 12th question, I guess. Okay, what is it? <laughs> Did you think you would be where you are today? Did I, th oh yeah, did I think I would be where I am today? Uh, yes and no. Yes, I thought I'd be where I'm at at an earlier point in my life. Uh, at, by this time, I thought I'd be further, but it's harder in this in music industry now, nowadays, because I, uh, you know, it's, it's, you got all these MySpace bands and, and, and groups and rappers and all you fake ass fools out there and uh, truth be told it's hard to find the truth you know I'm the truth uh, you know what I mean it's like a needle in a haystack I'm that needle in a fucking haystack whereas you know the rest of you guys are like American Idol like there's all these thousands and thousands of fucking American Idol wannabes and stuff but only one fucking makes it right well that's how it is with this MySpace and this music game and the industry and all this shit. So if you guys want, if you, if, I'm talking to the industry at this point. If you guys want to fucking uh, do something for real, you need to holler at Dirty D because, um, you know, you guys are sleeping on me and you've been sleeping on me. And this includes the underground industry also. You guys have been sleeping on me. So I need to get picked up. Uh, other than that, it's Dirty D, bitch. I'm out. We out. <laughs>